There are companies in the space industry that are advancing aggressively, like SpaceX, pushing the boundaries of innovation and dominating the market. And then there are companies that were once at the top of the industry but have faced a steep decline due to various challenges. A perfect example of this downfall is United Launch Alliance. This is the same company that once dominated U.S. space missions with its Atlas V and Delta IV rockets. However, now they are at a point where the company's future looks uncertain, and there are even talks about its sale. ULA has gone from being a major player to struggling to keep up with its competitors. In this video, we will discuss what is happening with ULA, how they've reached this point, and whether the company can survive this downward spiral. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates about the space industry and more insights into the company shaping its future. Formed as a joint venture between aerospace giants Boeing and Lockheed Martin in 2006, ULA once dominated the space launch market with its Atlas and Delta rockets, which were primarily used for national security missions. However, the increasing dominance of SpaceX's reusable rockets has severely disrupted ULA's business model, which relies on more expensive, expendable rockets. In response, ULA has developed the Vulcan Centaur, a next-generation rocket designed to be more cost-effective. However, it remains fully expendable for now, and even with the future possibility of reusing engines, it has been difficult for Vulcan to match SpaceX's aggressive pricing and innovation. Financially, ULA is facing serious challenges. The company is reportedly up for sale, with potential buyers like Blue Origin circling. ULA's current valuation is estimated between $2 billion and $4 billion, a far cry from the massive valuations enjoyed by competitors like SpaceX, which is valued at over $180 billion. This sale reflects ULA's struggle to remain competitive in an industry increasingly dominated by reusable technology. The company's reliance on external suppliers, along with slower innovation cycles, has put it at a disadvantage compared to SpaceX's vertically integrated in-house manufacturing and rapid development approach. Despite ULA's efforts to stay competitive, particularly through its Vulcan rocket, it continues to face significant challenges, not just from SpaceX, but also from rising competitors like Rocket Lab. Vulcan's latest launch on October 4, 2024, while reaching orbit, was marred by a solid rocket booster anomaly. Material was seen coming off one of the boosters just 35 seconds into the flight, causing timing delays during the ascent. Although ULA downplayed the issue, this anomaly could delay the Space Force certification Vulcan desperately needs for upcoming national security missions. As ULA prepares for another launch, hopes for a smooth mission are tempered by the rocket's performance issues in recent tests. With Vulcan underperforming and increasing talks of financial struggles and a potential sale, the company's future looks uncertain, especially against a backdrop of fast-moving innovation by competitors like SpaceX. If Vulcan cannot succeed in upcoming missions, ULA's ability to maintain relevance in the face of growing competition will be seriously called into question. In contrast, SpaceX continues to soar. Their success can largely be attributed to the Falcon 9, which has become the most reliable rocket in the space industry. With a 99% success rate and an unmatched reusability strategy, Falcon 9 has transformed the economics of space launches. By recovering and reusing boosters, SpaceX has drastically lowered its launch costs. In fact, some estimates put the marginal cost of a Falcon 9 launch as low as $15 million, a significant reduction compared to traditional expendable rockets. Throughout the years, SpaceX's launch cadence has only increased. In 2022, SpaceX completed 61 launches, a record at the time. By 2023, that number had jumped to 96 launches, accounting for 43% of all global space launches for the year. Now, in 2024, SpaceX is on track to complete an even more impressive 135 launches, with 70 missions already completed by mid-year. These numbers far exceed the combined output of most national space programs, positioning SpaceX as the global leader in both launch volume and reliability. 
A key driver of this increased cadence has been reusability. With its rapid turnaround times, sometimes as short as three days between launches at certain pads, SpaceX has set new standards for operational efficiency. For instance, in 2023, the company managed to launch 14 missions in a single month, an unprecedented feat. The development of Starship has also been impressively rapid with five test flights conducted so far. Each of these flights has provided valuable data and significant advancements. But Flight 5, conducted in 2024, has particularly caught the world's attention. This flight marked a major milestone in SpaceX's pursuit of full reusability by successfully recovering the Super Heavy booster mid-air for the first time. While previous flights focused on testing the vehicle's ascent, re-entry, and maneuverability, Flight 5 demonstrated the ability to catch the booster using the Mechazilla Catching Arm System, a highly innovative technique designed to allow for rapid turnaround between launches. During Flight 5, the Super Heavy booster powered the Starship into space before it detached and began its controlled descent. Unlike traditional expendable rockets that fall into the ocean, the booster was carefully guided back to the launch site, where Mechazilla, a massive structure designed to catch the booster mid-air, captured it. This successful catch was a major step toward full reusability, eliminating the need for booster recovery from the ocean and significantly reducing refurbishment costs. This successful mid-air catch not only impressed the aerospace community, but also reinforced SpaceX's dominance in space innovation. Recovering rockets mid-air is a feat that very few organizations have even attempted. And with Flight 5, SpaceX demonstrated that it has the technology and engineering to make this a regular feature of its operations. Looking ahead, SpaceX is already preparing for Flight 6, which promises to push the boundaries even further. Unlike Flight 5, where only the booster was caught mid-air, Flight 6 aims to catch both the booster and the Starship upper stage. The upper stage, or Starship itself, will go through the same re-entry process, but will be guided to be caught mid-air as well, marking a major leap toward achieving complete reusability for both stages of the rocket. If successful, this would be an industry first as no other company or organization has ever demonstrated full recovery of both rocket stages in a single mission. In addition to working on the catching mechanisms, SpaceX is also focusing on other critical upgrades for Flight 6, including improvements to the heat shield and the flap systems, which play a crucial role during re-entry. After Flight 5's success, SpaceX has identified key areas for enhancement, including addressing the flap joint burns observed during re-entry. These upgrades are designed to ensure that the upper stage can withstand the intense heat and forces during re-entry, which are essential for making the catching process safe and repeatable. Once Starship reaches full operational capability, it will drastically reduce the cost of space access, enabling a wider range of missions. This could include everything from large-scale satellite deployments and crew missions to the International Space Station to deep space exploration missions that target the Moon, Mars, and beyond. In comparison to traditional rockets like ULA's Vulcan, which remains expendable and cost-inefficient, SpaceX's reusability model gives it a commanding lead. Don't forget to check the link in the description to grab your own highly realistic Starship model. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you in the next video.